Hi everyone and welcome to today's Arts and Crafts class. So today we're going to be making a bookmark. So for those who have took part in our Arts and Crafts pickup, uh, you've got your stuff ready. For those who are just doing this along at home, you're going to need a bit of masking tape or sellotape. Masking tape works out easier in the long run. So if you have got some of that, you'll go for that. You're going to need a pen or a pencil. You're going to need a glue brush. You're going to need a pair of scissors. So please be careful. Ask for help if you need it. You're going to need some crepe paper or you're going to need decoupage paper. So I've got decoupage paper at the minute. But if you can't get out of the house to get some, uh, print off like uh, colored squares, lots of different colored squares, and then you can cut them out and stick them on, but it's going to take a bit longer, okay? Because the glue and the paper takes longer to dry, okay? And you're going to need a bit of glue, okay? So let's get straight into it. So let's pull this to one side so we don't get it messy. So with this, get masking tape. This is why I go for masking tape instead of sellotape, okay? Just grab yourself a bit. Get your scissors, hopefully it chops off nice and easy. Boom, like so. Pop it to one side, then just gently put it on the table. Then we wanna write whatever you want your bookmark to say, okay? So I'm just gonna put on So I'm just going to do, oh, pull. Okay, so let's get that cut out and stuck on and see what it looks like. And boom, I've got the hub all over it. So make sure it's stuck down well. Just get your finger, press down all the corners and everything so it's all stuck down. Okay, so put that to one side for now. Now you are going to need your crepe paper, uh, decoupage paper, normal paper, any of those, and just get rippy. Okay, so medium trunks like so, all right? So get ripping them all and hopefully it'll all be done. And boom, so all mine are all caught now to nice medium sized chunks. Okay, so now we are going to get ourselves our glue. We're just gonna dab it on our paintbrush and then just glue all over it. So just try to go around the H, okay? Or whatever you've written. So we don't really want to cover the masking tape in glue if we can help it, okay? just makes it easier for the last step. All right, so just get that glue all over it. Mine in the masking tape or sellotape, okay? So once you've got glue over a good chunk, then we're just gonna start sticking them on. All different colors if you want, or you can make really cool looking one solid color. Just all over, okay? Try and mix it up if you want to. So I'm going with a bit of blue, a bit of pink, a bit of orange all over and then also if it is starting to lap over can you see on this side just get a bit of glue on your brush then just go to this side put some glue on there and then all we're doing is just get your scissors snip here or you can snip it all off it's up to you but i just find it's easier just to glue it down all right like so so all the edges are now glued down you're going to get a bit of glue on your fingers but i think you'll survive all right so then, I want you to cover the whole thing in the decoupage, all right? If like magic, and boom. So mine's all covered and gluey and I'm messy and everything, so that's always good. So now, let yours dry for five minutes, or until the glue's like really dry and it's not like sticky, okay? All right then, and then we'll get on to the next step is gonna be peeling off these, okay? So let them dry and then just get yourself a pencil or a pen and well, I try pencil because you can rub the pencil off and then we just want to peel these off, okay? So let's see what that looks like. So then boom, all peeled off. Now if you colour in, call into a, oh, I know it's, it's upside down, so it's hard to hold. So if you colour it in and go crazy, you can always do the back or write a message on there. Oh, the message on there, up to you. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. We are now open. Well, we are open on the 1st of September, okay? So I'll put the timetable and the link to my email address. So if you want to come join in Arts and Crafts here at the Hub, then come and join us. Thank you very much for watching. We hope you enjoyed and we'll catch you next time. Bye.